Now here we have a case wherein we have created a sales tracker where I just need to enter the sales values for each of these product categories for the company. And now this would be a one-to-one -one data. And towards the end, we just take a total. So the sum function is already in place. And we just want to demonstrate this and show that how this tool works. Now, how do we do that? Now we have a total of 36 cells here and randomly adding numbers over here, it's quite a time consuming affair. So for our relief, Excel has provided a function called as rand, R-A-N-D, rand. And here you do not need to enter any arguments or any parameters within this. You just need to close the bracket and hit enter. So by default, the rand function gives you figures in the form of decimals. The rank function returns values between 0 and 1. And if you would have noticed, every time I change something in a cell, this refreshes. Now, so we need to be very careful about this, that every time there is any change in any part of the, of the file, this value will keep on changing. Now, let me show you how. I drag this formula to the right, you see this number changed again. Now if I were to drag this formula down, just keep a close watch on one or two of these numbers and while I drag this formula down, we will see those numbers changing. Here it is. So this is how the rank function works, it gives you the values over here. Now if I were to talk, that, uh, talk about this in the form of millions of dollars, then yes, this could be so at $0.72 million, but I see multiple decimal places over here. So I can use a comma over here or control shift exclamation on the keyboard. It can round it up to two decimal places. And here we have this. Now let's say this is how the rank function works. Now let's say the values that I'm talking about need not be in decimals, but rather the whole numbers. This was the amount that I was talking about. Now, I want to also mention the sales volume. Now, this will not be in the form of rounded up millions or billions, but it will be a whole figure, whole number. So, we'll just copy this, paste it down, copy this again and paste it down here. We have another format, so we'll say sum, use the formula here, Make this bold. Now, every time I'm making some change over here in any cell, the values above are changing. So, I apply this formula here. Now, let's say I know that my sales will be in the range of 1000 units to 5000 units every month. But this is the range that I'm looking at. So, I have another function that is ran between R A N D, ran between. Now here we can mention the lower limit and the upper limit. So here the bottom is 1000, that's the lower limit. Ensure you do not put commas when entering numbers in functions. Comma, the top, it's 5000. And close the brackets and you see it's 2044. Let's expand this formula to the right. Again, the numbers will keep on changing while you apply the formula down. So the rand and the rand between function does a good job in helping you populate or get some random numbers to demonstrate something. So this was rand between. And here when you say rand between, let me change this. For the rand between function, you need to specify a lower limit and the upper limit. Well, going by the Excel conventions, the lower limit is nothing but the bottom and the upper limit. Here we have rand between, returns a random number between the numbers you specify and that's bottom and the top, right? The upper limit is the top. Now when it comes to rand function, I say rand, it says returns a random number greater than or equal to zero and less than one, evenly distributed. So that's the rand function for you. And we have the rand between over here for any numbers within the range. Now, in case if you've got the numbers and you do not want this to change. 
sporadically like this. I recommend select the cells, copy them, and again on the same cells, right click, paste as values. And here we have this the values in place. Now, come what may, these values will not change. If I were to delete something here, these values are changing, but this will not change. I clear this off. Now, similarly, if I want these numbers to remain as it is, I'll copy them, right click, paste as values. And here we have them. All the numbers you can check in the formula bar, the rank function and the rank between functions are gone. So this way we can have some static numbers here. Otherwise, the values will keep on changing. Now, there is no guarantee that the moment I enter I enter rank function over here and simultaneously when you type the rank function, there is no guarantee that we will get exactly the same numbers. There is a possibility that it wouldn't be anywhere close either. Okay, it's just a randomly populated numbers by your Excel.